hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is betty karanja and as you can see the title of today's video it is my golf experience part two this is the most the most asked video and i'm here to give you the story uh today i will use videos of me while, while working in golf i used to record myself i have a lot of videos on my phone i used to record myself not to post them because i never posted them i have videos from 2021 yeah and i never posted them sometimes i used to record them randomly and sometimes i used to record them i will be looking at these videos and say god is faithful god is faithful i'm not where i have always wanted to be in life but at least i'm not where i was it's a journey and i really appreciate everything about my journey and um so i will be explaining the videos in case they need explanations because some videos i never used to talk nilikuwa tu na yekelea tu simu hapo and i record myself working and nakunywa uji for your information because this is the only way i can afford to fight this cold huku kwetu kuna baridi ni uji wa madasu mimi nasema tahi i will insert the unga here it is very sweet by the way sijui mzai alibai unga wapi kimzai madhe mhm so and before i get to start today's video i want to say thank you so much for the support that you guys have shown me i started being consistent on youtube like two months ago and i really really appreciate i know i've never said this here but as antenna sana for the support that you're showing me we moved from 300 subscribers and right now we are at 6200 thank you so much <laughs> but thank you so much it's a journey and i appreciate every part of my journey every step no matter how small it is and thank you so much for being here and welcome to today's video and i feel like i'm so hungry for success i really want god to bless me i've gone through a lot things that i never knew out experience or kama mnajua vizuri sana if you've been in gulf you know the two mattress zenye wanatumianga kutandika chini wakalia wakikula cause those people wanakulianga kwa sinia wakiwa wenta ruipo Maria Gerasini ni Maria Ode so there is this two mattress zenye huwa wanatandika chini ndio wakalie so hizo mattress ndio zilikuwa zinatumika kama mattress za wageni wageni wakikuja so every time kuna wageni i used to kuziendea na huko wa second floor na ziteremsha first ground floor ndio wanalie so each and every time wakilala i used to clean so unapata ni mattress kama sita si kubwa vile in terms of ni density ama ni kanashana hivi i will show you i will insert the video so zinatosha na hivyo na nilikuwa nimepewa kamoja kangu kakulalia kalikuwa kanatosha na hivi that kama mattress used to be this size says ya gazeti to a point that nilikuwa na finyo after nimebaiwa kitanda you know that story iko kwa part 1 after nimebaiwa kitanda ilikuwa ya chuma so nilikuwa na nikilala na finyo na chuma za hiyo bed so nilienda nikatafuta cartons za tv kuna tv nyingine ilikuwa imebaiwa so cartons zilikuwa nako juu nikaikatakata nikatandika kwa hizo mavitu za kitanda and then nikaekelea kama mattress sikuwa na finyo sana but ilikuwa ni kama kulalia it was not that comfortable but tiku ito so i used to clean those to mattress sa hiyo una, unaosha it's during summer jua limewaka ushawa hicho mwana jua ukiwa nje to a point that ukiingia ndani ya nyumba unaona dimdim unaona tu giza cause umechomwa na jua taa simtuki meli wa taa so to a point ukiingia kwa nyumba unasikia kizunguzungu the first time niliambwa nioshe i thought that that cover was hard so mimi nilisugua na brush cause watoto walikuwa nakuja kama wako na viatu wanaruka rukia hiyo mattress so na hakuna venye utaweza kuitanduka hivi ndio hata kwa mihoro so mimi nilisugua na brush so after nilisugua na brush ikakaa ni kama ni kama hii sweater nisugue na brush obvious itachana kiasi so after zimecha unajua mama alinikelelesha kai but hakunilisha so akaniambia next time usifue na brush nikamwambia siwaambia tu watoto wasikuwa wanakanyanga na viatu cause it's very hard hauwezi kuitanduka hivi yani mimi hadi nakumbuka hiyo story na sikia tu mama These are the mattresses that I used to wash when I was washing and I used to wash the carpets I used to wash the carpets I, I don't know whether I have the video I used to wash the carpets they are 12 simple of them 
na si eti nitule tu biogo pati kama shaka kapeti kama shana hivi no ni zile kubwa ni kapeti mitu kapa ni kwa di uko ni unasugua wapi kwa jua juri nsama hiyo kazi ilikuwa ngumu sana. I told you niliwaambia nilikuwa na lala kwa store venye nilifika huko nilipewa store. Yaani that was my bedroom. So I want to show you this store. Kwa hiyo store that is where that woman used to store yani perishable things like potatoes, onions and everything. So ushawai ingia kwa soko mahali wanauza vitungu unasikia alifu yuko hapo. Ama because those people buy things in bulk. So ananunua nini? Waru mob and you know very well waru hakuwezi kosa kamoja kataharibika in between alikuwa ananunua waru na ngunia ama na kapipatu but ni mob so there, there were times waru zilikuwa zinaharibika zimejaa kwa ngunia hapa na ziko kitanda ya, yangu iko hapa waru ziko hapa so kuna nuka vibaya kuna nuka i used to clean that room natuanisha kitanda i clean everything natuanisha fridge jo fridge ilikuwa kwa hiyo room na naosha na yani i do everything every cleaning yani hadi nilikuwa nimemwambia aninunulie air freshener but huko kulikuwa nayo so nilikuwa naiba ya room yake na kuja na spray huko yani bado haziko siku nuka siku anajua ni nini ina smell like fast siku yani hata akili yangu haiko inagonga ina unaweza tuanisha hizi waru angalie so ninaosha 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 i remember very well nikamwambia ah, mimi madam sijui ni nini inanuka huku cuz i've tried cleaning everything nilikuwa nimeosha nime hadi beddings zote zote naosha kila kitu na tuanisha kila kitu na bado harufu haiko inaisha so i decided to tell her nikamwambia akakuja aka spray spray yake aka spray kwa room bado unasikia kaharufu ka spray na bado kitu ilikuwa inanuka ni kama panya amekufia huko na bado ni kama kapanya kananuka so venye nilimwambia do you know what was her response aliniuliza Beatrice are you on your periods akini nilisikia vibaya so i was like no you want to mean mimi ndio nanuka surely surely sasa akaniuliza kama am on, on my periods nikamwambia hapana akaniuliza na nini hiyo inanuka akaniambia niende nikaoke yani huo mama alifikiria tu ni mimi nanuka Jesus. Aki tumekapitia. So mimi nikaenda nikashawa and then nikarudi. Akukua kuna acha kunuka cuz definitely I'm not the one who was smelling. So nikatuanisha vitungu. Vitungu zinakuwa na harufu yake. Yaani mimi nimekaa nazo hadi najua vitungu na waru kuoza those are two different smells. So zikimix zinanuka kitu mbaya sana. I don't know whether you guys know the smell of kitungu. To a point unajaribu kulala hivi unashindwa cuz the smell is too, ni mingi ni more plus the room is congested and it is not big ni kadogo and it is congested hivi so that woman she's even the one who told me tuanishe hizi waru tuangalie tukimwaga waru na ngunia ndio tulipata mawaru huko chini zimeoza kama tatu zilikuwa zinanukia vibaya so nika nikazitoanisha nikaweka kwa pipa nyingine ndio so i used to do that like after a few days natuanisha waru kuangalia kama ziko sawa natuanisha vitungu kuangalia kama ziko sawa ndio isioze na nisijue kuanze kunuka and it is my room so that was a routine like after a few days unamwaga waru unazi unazipanga yenye ndakani kama imekatwa unaiseparate na hizi zingine ndio siku record room ikiwa imejaa nilikuwa nime, nimeanza tu kuingisha vitu ujue kulikuwa na mchele ya ngunia ilikuwa inaekwa hapo sukari na ngunia ilikuwa inaekwa hapo nini mbosho kuna mbosho zingine yellow beans wanakulanga sana zilikuwa zinanunuliwa na ngunia zilikuwa zinaekwa hapo kuna fridge ilikuwa inaekwa hapo ile mchele ya kutumia unaweka kwa buckets ilikuwa inaekwa kwa hiyo room vitungu waru yani room ilikuwa inajaa to a point that unaenda ukiruka vitu zingine and to make the matters worse that room haina space nguo zangu nilikuwa naeka chini ya kitanda mtoi alikuwa anakuja kuleta toys zake huko imagine the room is congested and you have a, a whole building ya yeah, rooms na hata huwezi yenda kuweka toys huko so i will start with this video i don't know where i will insert it while editing cuz i don't want to point here and then in sataba so i will start with that video that i posted on tiktok i posted that video after i got home after nime kuja nyumbani after nime rudi and ilikuwa imekaa kwa drafts for almost two years and some people said that they are relating to that and others were telling me stories of jabba and i'm here to confirm that that was not stories of jabba it was true sometimes uh, why i used to if you were, you've watched part one i don't want to say anything that i said kwa part one ile ya gulf experience taki kutirudia so you know mimi nilikuwa nafanya mwalimu kazi mama alikuwa mwalimu baba alikuwa mwanabiashara na watoto walikuwa wanaenda shule so i used to be alone during the day not not the whole day but from 8 8 am up to 12 am because baadhi alikuwa anatoka job 12 am so nikiwa huko peke yangu i used to hear weird things like unasikia msia ameteremka stairs and you're all alone you're alone in the house 
tunasikia msi ametoremka stairs ama unasikia mtu amenini unaona hii lock ya mlango sio kifungua you make a noise unasikia mtu ni kama na try kufungua hiyo lock and then kuenda kuangalia there is no one and then this one day i i saw someone i swear i saw someone i go to reza jab i saw someone nilikuwa nimeingia kwa room ku charge simu and then niki niki nikitoka kwa hii room yenye nilikuwa kuchajia simu ilikuwa room yangu ilikuwa store nikitoka nikaona mse amepita mbio kitchen na kaingia sitting room aki nimeshtuka roho yangu inadunda shit mimi nilikuwa kwa hii room unaona hii room imefungulwa mlango uko ndo nilikuwa nilikuwa nimeenda ku charge simu alafu nikigeuka hivi kurudi na huku nikaona mtu hapa hapa kwenye nimesimama amepita akaingia na hii mlango amepita hapa akaingia hivi alafu then niki, nikakuja nikaanza kuchungulia nimefungua rooms zote sioni mtu i swear nimeona mtu i'm not dreaming sioti kuna mtu amepita hapa alafu nimekuja nikafungua nisha rooms zote sipate mtu ai ameenda wapi alafu kwa hii nyumba nyumba yote niko peke yangu kila mtu alienda job wengine watoto walienda shule na hakuna mtu anaweza ingia huku ki iko ndani haiko nje alafu geti ya huku huwa inafunguliwa na remote so mtu mwenye kwa nje lazima aring hiyo bell ndio nifungue nikiwa ndani ya nyumba nifungue hiyo gate hiyo gate huwezi fungua hivi lazima kuwe na remote na watu wenyewe na remote wote wako job ah aki nimeona mtu shit I saw a sioti wallahi sioti kuna mtu amepita hapa na nimejaribu kuitana nimejaribu kuangalia kwa rooms zote na mimi sijaona mtu gai mimi ninashtuka na niko peke yangu <laughs> Ah ah sioti I saw a sioti Aki nimeona mtu Nimejaribu kukuja nimefungua rooms zote hakuna mtu nimeona nimejaribu kuitana hakuna mtu nimeona najua nikitoka kwa hiyo room venye nilikuwa natoka huko nimeangalia hapa na nikaona mtu amepita hivyo na sijui ameenda wapi ai kwani huko kuna jini na leo ni sande okay sawa ni nani na ameenda wapi na mbona zimuoni nani ah 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 sioti i swear i'm not dreaming nimeona mtu hapa na venye nimekuja hivi nikaona ameingia kwa hiyo mlango akaenda hivyo sasa akaenda hivi straight nimejaribu kuzunguka kwa hiyo nyumba yote nimezunguka sioni mtu amekuja akaingilia hapa kwa nyumba yote sioni mtu hii nyumba yote During uh, summer kuna vumbi ilikuwa inakujanga huko. So I used to wash. Nyumba ilikuwa hadi third floor. Unaosha hizo dirisha zote, madirisha zote. Unaosha balcony, unaosha stairs, unaosha parking, unaosha garden. By garden I mean unaosha the nini, the cavera ile veranda na surround the garden. And then you sweep. And then unaosha carpet cuz your garden carpet yenye imewekwa ni hii nini? I will insert it here. This is not a green. <laughs> the plastic one. So, you unayosha. Having in mind that vumbi will come tomorrow. Even that vumbi is there at Okiosha. So you you actually doing zero work because you washing and mahali umeosha, vumbi imekuja so it's dusty. You get my point. And then you know very well Okiosha kukiwa na vumbi, yeye ni matoke. Like ushawifanya zero work na unachoka yani you getting tired and whatever you're doing it's zero work. Ama that is during summer and during winter sometimes kulikuwa kuna drizzle not always not always by the way mvua time inyesha a few days. Nikale kambua tu kadogo kakupitia but nikakubwa and it is very cold. Cold. Winter season ilikuwa very cold. So unapata kuna nyesha but unaambiwa uoshe nje so unanyeshewa and everyone ako huko kwa heater amekaa hapa it is very cold it is very cold. Yaani wewe si mtu. Yaani wewe hauwezi hisi baridi. Yaani uko guy, bahe yako kai hagi nyaka yagi oleke kule. Kuna nyesha the water will pour so it will be there so you drink zero work. Hello guys, as you can see niko kazi, nikuosha na osha as you can see. 
na osha parking ndio wakuje waweke magari zao kubwa kubwa hapa as you can see nimeanzia huko it's ni, ni part kubwa sana bebe washing na pia as you can see the weather kuna drizzle si mnaona huku kuna anguka maji kuna drizzle but i have to wash i don't know why this woman treats be like that i have to wash and yet kuna nyesha so kuria wera ni kuruta kazi yangu let me just wash i do it with love time nilikuwa na osha and then i decided to record this video i will post the video after this i had cry mimi sometimes nilikuwa najia yani nilikuwa nimezoea kulia tu a point that that woman knew mimi niko na shida ya macho because sometimes nigelia macho yangu na kaivi ama na ka red so nilikuwa namdanganya niko na shida ya macho i recorded this video aki mimi nilikuwa na uza coat nilikuwa naambia mungu wangu aki mimi nibariki tu yani hakuna kitu nilikuwa tunataka baraka because hey, i had suffered a lot recording this video in December 2022 Uh, yeah it's on a Thursday morning it's around 10 pm i'm in iraq i'm a house and nafanya kazi as you can see na osha party na magari zinafaa kuingia kiosha you see moja sha ingia but i've decided to record this video cuz i really feel motivated i thank god cuz ni kona a few weeks to go home i'm about to go home my contract is coming to an end and yani god has been with me all through yani since the mom god am i acha wala like god has been with me all through last year i had a near death experience nilianguka kutoka kwa juu nikaanguka chini i didn't go to the hospital but god healed me god healed me oh my god yani mimi never say my true god has protected me in this country i don't know whether nimeshika camera vizuri but i hope kwa sawa yani i've recorded this video to just pray for this family I, i just want to tell god god bless this family despite the fact that when many people share my home with my mama with me with my mom i do respect her as my own mother she knows very well that i respect her so much and i pray to god that after i leave this i leave this place mungu i was blessed to and the life was blessed kwera kwa doka na rigidi emurago kuma i would in street them bad because they have treated me bad but I wish them nothing but blessings nothing but blessings and right now I pray to God that it's high time God opens doors for me I've been through hell in this family I've seen different types of me different sides of me yani nimevumilia for real nimevumilia yangu yote and I feel like I'm so hungry for success I really want God to bless me I've gone through a lot things that I never knew I would experience or but yani God to any bless Then if that is the only thing that I'm praying for. Nikitoka kwa hii country and I go back to Kenya. I've been through it all. I feel like I've been through it all and it's time for God to come through in my life. I really want to I really want to succeed. So living here has been then life here has been so dark. It's been tough. I really want to to grow in terms of mindset, financially. I want to have a stable lifestyle, you know. And I'm saying this I'm in Iraq currently and I will never I will never be a housemate again. That's something that I have said and I have decided cause that was tough. That was tough. I hope but well, yeah, I mean God to and the bless. Yani yeah, I just need blessings. I've worked for it. I've worked. I know I've tried. God can say yani God and I do at venye. Mimi kaza na kufanya job yangu like right now I'm working. Naosha huku and kuna nyesha, kuna drizzle and you have to watch because you ni kazi yako. So hata nafanya zero work kwa kutanyesha bado so i feel like i've done it all i mean when i don't have hard work face but let me tell you with hard work face that we are never enough so it's high time god to open doors for me and i believe i'm a believer i'm a visionary and i i know my life will be stable and my life will be okay yeah i just to go to the camp i have a few weeks to go home i pray for god's presence in my life i really and also kitu nimefanya kwa hizo those two years that i've been here is ni mienda kilo sana na god i swear i was not that prayerful when i was in kenya yes i was a prayerful person but not that deep but right now my relationship with god oh it's amazing it's unbreakable let me tell you uh mimi kongea na god sana and i know that he listen aki that video is so emotional i'm the kind of a person who doesn't show her weaknesses online i don't but If I remember about that video the moment I recorded it the things I had gone through while recording it yani mimi na feeling kitu kulia yani I've been acting the strongest lady while giving my story but sometimes when I remember about that video yani ile siku nilikuwa nimerecord nilikuwa nimeamka 6 na the previous night nilikuwa nimelala saa 8 
nilikuwa na wageni and then nimeamka 6 alafu kuna baridi room yangu ndio tu haikuwa na heater and i used to have one blanket natoka nje nikaambiwa nioshe cuz kuna wageni in as much as kuna nyesha kuna wageni na nambu washe magari zikuje zingie so definitely zitaingiza uchafu so again nilikuwa last year vibaya cuz yani anataka tu uende ukanyesheme na huko nje na hajali about your health like unaweza patwa na homa unaweza umwa na kifua ama upanye nini but that is not that is not her problem wewe kazi lazima ufanye in as much as kuna nyesha lazima kazi utafanya yani hiyo siku mi nilikuwa nimelia nilikuwa nimelia so hiyo hiyo ilikuwa video ya nikiwa nimebakisha nime explain hiyo video nilikuwa nimebakisha ilikuwa deck and then na home mimi january nilikuwa deck na ina home jan so hiyo siku nilikuwa nimefanyishwa kazi kama punda the pa, the nini those months zenye nilikuwa nakaribia ku home akia used to work nilikuwa na hiyo nyumba yote on daily basis na usha madirisha on daily basis yani hadi kulala ilikuwa issue yani I, I don't know why alikuwa ananipitisha and the way he was a very good person in as much as they were treating me that way i have never never not even a single day said no like miss jay mwambia sifanye kazi ama said no to anything i used to accept everything and i guess that is why up to date she keeps on reaching to me kuniambia niende hata ataniulizia mshahara because amepatana na wasichana wengine wenye hawaizi vumilia that that kind of life so una get so easy months za mwisho mbeleni it was so good but easy miezi za mwisho nikikaribia ku home it was so tough unafanyishwa kazi kama punda kama punda i don't know whether it's because nilikuwa nimemwambia sitarudi me didn't lie to her by the way i didn't lie to her nilimwambia directly i'm not coming back i'm going and going for good so nilikuwa nafanya kazi hadi that night hiyo siku nilikuwa naosha venye nilienda kulala i cried the whole night sometimes nilikuwa na jipata i'm so emotional to a point that i can't control it yani ushawahi lia to a point that you are you even the one comforting yourself like you've cried for so long you've cried a lot please stop it there stop it there it's gonna be okay it will be good yani you've cried so much yani you're hurting from inside and you've cried so much to a point that you are comforting yourself i used to tell myself like betty you know what the life that is in your mind you will have it one day this is just a process it's a journey you know that night nilikuwa i had a diary nilikuwa na diary yangu i used to write sometimes nikienda kuandika kwa hiyo diary you know i used to break in tears you know mimi nazipata nimelia cuz you're going to write about your day how your day was and all your writing are bad things bad experiences you know you know is this really the life that i chose So that night I cried a lot. I cried the whole night actually. The whole whole night. The whole night I cried. Alam ililia kama sijafunga macho. And this is my favorite song. I used to listen to this song every night. Naitwa Kuna ye Mungu mkusana. Kuna ye Mungu muweza wayuti. Alingia roho ni mwangu kanipa kutulia kanambia ewe mwanangu usilie tena I don't know how to sing I don't have a good voice but at least you know that song inaitwa moyo wangu I used to listen to that song on daily basis on daily basis Yani inaambia roho yangu tulia there is a god in heaven and god is listening to you and that night I cried venye niliamka niliamka macho yangu kwa imefura hivi sikuwa naona kitu niliamka hivi I couldn't see anything cuz I've cried the whole night. So I couldn't see anything. Kacharibu kuna wauso hayachi. Na nilikuwa nimeamka saa mbili. So around 10, around 10 hapo ndio nikaona bado macho yangu yamefura. Wao walikuwa washaenda job na shule. Sometimes nilikuwa na get so emotional to a point I can't control myself. Yaani ina get out of control. So I just tell myself just cry and after you're done it's okay. Go go back to work am I just sleep because i used to encourage myself and i used to comfort myself but sometimes it went and lemea because unajiambia there is you have i had uh, there is this personality of me that is telling me stop crying it's gonna be well it is okay this is part of your life it is part of your journey one day one time you will be looking back and say that god did it for me yani and then there is this other personality that is asking is this really the life that i chose 
cause nateseka hivi so kuna hii personality inani encourage but pia kuna haka kana nirudisha chini cause i'm wondering what kind of life is, is this huko kulikuwa na kanini kanyoni there was a bird it was a pet so there is this i used to play with it but the day is to love it so much hadi tulikuwa tunaenda hapo kuota jua hapo nje so this one day <laughs> nikakashika nikakaekelea hivi hapa kakakaka hapa so simi nikatoka na konje me didn't know can i fly kaende kakaenda <laughs> nidagi tenyo ni yene guys nilikelele unajua nile mbona nitoke na huko nje nikatafute nika, nika nishike so mimi nikagoja nini birds hapo nje nishike lakini nilikuwa naambia Mungu nilikuwa natusikia tu wengine tukikate kore igoro deraga gai gai madikuru kia kanyoni kamwe haha goke dikali gai gade kanyite tondu weru umeja uthi usoke na nyoni so mimi nitatoa wapi we i'm going to get it but hakuniuliza though alikasirika nilikelelesho hadi nikafeel guilty mimi sipendi kukosea mtu by the way you'd rather kosea me than me kosearing you you get my point cause kukukosea that guilt it and you sana but ukinikosea my heart doesn't have a space to hold grudges so i will it's very ni huwa na hii kukosewa kukosewa very quick than kukoseana because i'm wondering yani you going through a certain thing ama umejam juu yangu so hiyo kitu hiyo ni kuna ndani sana so i prefer being good to people alafu mimi sipendi kuwa the reason as to why i'm going through this yani beti is the reason as to why so i don't like that so mimi nilikuwa na gani nilikuwa lakini nilikuwa naomba nilikuwa nikiomba i used to tell god niletea kanyoni kamoja nikashike nikarudishe at least huyu mama aache kunijamia you get gift mnasemanga that is a ramadhan i've never received any gift during ramadhan the only gift i was given while i was there is a birthday gift top size xxxxxxxx yeah just that top your birthday gift ni top ama ni blouse whatever that is the only gift that i received anything else no na sasa the gift that she gave me nikirudi kenya hiyo niliwaambia kwa part 1 kwa hiyo nyumba i used to be a uh, nini nilikuwa eh, nilikuwa kando yani ushawaifika place and you feel at home mimi i was feeling at away mm. not at home cuz <laughs> every time kena kutembea everyone is smart they are looking good they have new clothes and as for you kuna hii ngunia waiguru walikuwa wamenipea each and every time that gunia i used to wear that gunia every every time every time i will insert a video here you will see it every time iwe munaenda every time i used to wear that gunia hange kubali nitoke hivyo bila bila hiyo ngunia i used to wear it on daily basis and then ikikuja ni sector ya dates how what they loved it so much it's not a date pam i guess they love them so much so to make the work easier for them to eat i used to kutoa the begu unaitoanisha unatoa mbegu so that when anaenda kukula the only thing he or she will do is to chew yani unamtolea mbegu cuz kutoa mbegu ni kazi so you're the one who is going to kutoa the mbegu so i used to spend on nights nikitoa hizo mbegu cuz walikuwa wanazinunua in bal walikuwa wanazinunua zikiwa mob unaletoa kanini kikiwa na kikaratasi zikiwa mob utoe mbegu na unatoa na gloves utoe na mikono so hizi gloves ni zile za karatasi it's not the surgical ones so zina stick kwa hizo dates dates zinakuwa sticky so zina stick so bado na struggle kutoa hiyo mbegu lakini nilikuwa nasikia kuagonga but we made it we made it back home we're not where we want to be but at least there is a progress we're not where we used to be yani i really thank god in every step in my life I, every step in my life mimi napendaga ku appreciate everything everything i used to post pictures picha nilikuwa na toa dera napiga picha cuz niko na nguo zangu ndani na toa dera napiga picha and then narudisha so if i post that picture and kila mtu ako job you will think me kazi yangu ni mapicha tu ma photo session you know <laughs> so that is what i used to do kuna hii setup nili make uh, wakiwa wameenda kwao madam na watoto walikuwa wameenda kwao and then mimi naachwa na firstborn na mzai so mzai na firstborn walikuwa naenda job wanatokea four so the whole day niko peke yangu so i decided to take kabod kama mtoto kakufanyia homework nikaandika as to three like inasemanga write your vision in bold numbers like hata ikikaa it will come to happen even if it delays it will come to happen write it in bold letters 
that is what the verse says so nikaandika and then nikakata kata to matunda nikaweka pepsi uko kusangi pepsi nikaweka pepsi kwa wine glass and then i started recording videos so when i posted those videos with that setup and the photos of those people used to think that we we will ifika yani ni kwa igoro unafanya hivi having in mind niko peke yangu wengine wako job so ni ile unaharakisha you just take pictures to make your heart happy yani i used to do that to just kujifilisha tu vizuri ama nikitoa nguo then i post a picture i remember there is this time let me tell, give you this story kuna hii time nilipiga picha it was this picture i will insert it nikapiga hiyo picha and then my guru alikuwa na namba yangu so nikasahau kum hide akaona si unaona niko na shot so akaniambia no you know you are exposing yourself this is not right you're not supposed to do this in my house and i felt like i've done a bad thing nili feel like that was not good hiyo si kitu poa nilifanya so kutoka hapo nikamwambia whatsapp yangu imekufa imeisha like expire that was what i told her nikamwambia sina whatsapp juu sim card haiko inashika huko so nikamwambia anipe sim card akaniambia the only thing you're going to do i'm going to give you a phone number that will register your whatsapp that will register whatsapp with akanipea phone number ya nani sana wake first of all so the only thing i had ni whatsapp registered with line ya huko but line sina line ni ya ni ya nani ni ya huyo sana wake so unaona so nika block nika block kwa hii ya Kenya nikakuwa sasa na muongelesha na hii ingine hii ingine hata sikuwa na post anything it's just the profile picture yenye nilieka and then hii ilikuwa ya kumcall kumwambia anything in case i na tunahitaji kumcall akiwa job ama anahitaji kuniambia anything so nilikuwa natumia hiyo same card so unaona the the first bona kona namba yangu hii ya yenye nime register nayo whatsapp so alikuwa na pair the friends walikuwa wanakuja mama yake wakienda because they use walikuwa wanaenda hadi vacation outside country kuna siku alienda Lebanon Lebanon for two months nilikuwa nimeachwa na sister ya mzai na sasa the first bone the first bone sister ya mzai alikuwa anakuja kuniangalia alikuwa ametumwa kama spy kuniangalia kama anafanya kazi the way i'm staying and everything but tulikuwa tunakana huyo first bone huyo well, first bone was hatukuwa tunaongea ni ile tu salama aleikum hmm. salamu tu so unaona kuna namba yangu akaanza kupeana kupea wa arabu wengine sasa majama so they used to send me nasty pictures na wa block na wa block so there is this one day mama yake hawako it's just me and him in the house mimi nilikuwa kwa room yangu nilikuwa na make sure by 6 nimemaliza kila kitu kila kitu na nikajifungia kwa room yangu kwa customer yangu tu <laughs> na naenda na chakula cuz sai it's luxury hakuna mtu anakunyima chakula haulizi chakula so nikajifungia kwa room wakakuja na mabeshti zake au oh, watu wanapenda shisha sana wanavuta shisha wakavuta shisha and sijui ni nini nyingine walitumia and they started knocking my door this ilikuwa around sana ya usiku they started knocking so me i knew this guy is a very good guy cuz hajaiwa ifanya anything yeye inaweza fanya ni mshuku so i just opened the door nikapata si yeye it is the friends wenye wamekuwa wakinipigia cuz walipewa number and sending nasty pictures to my number so mi nikajaribu kusukuma mlango na yeye ananisuku anasukuma hiyo mlango na ndani akiingia kwa room so me just left the room nikaambia nikaenda nikaambia huyo kijana huyo kijana kaniambia aje come we sleep roho yangu ilikuwa karibu kutoka ilikuwa inadunda hivi hivi so mi nimetoka nimemwacha ameingia kwa room nikaenda nikaambia huyo kijana wa huku mimi nitaambia mama yako cuz sasa hii ni masaa yangu ya kulala huyo anafanya nini so akakuja akamuuliza akamwambia sikuwa najua and sorry pole sana nini 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 but huyo kijana alikuwa amenisumbua nini the son wa huko he was kind of mature cuz the time nilimwambia alimtoa alimtoa na huko nje na mimi nikaenda nikalock nikaomba hey hakuiginya roho wangu kile ni mahoya <laughs> nikaomba and then hakunisumbua tena hiyo siku the following day venye sister Zai alikuja nikamwambia mimi naogopa kulala peke yangu akuje alale huko a spend the night there so akaniambia atatuma msichana wake so akatuma msichana wake so tukakuwa tunalala hatulali the same place ya yeah, 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 kuna bedroom analala bedroom ya watoto but at, but at least in the house we are two ladies and i know this guy ataogopa this cousin yake you get my point so, yeah mimi mimi nikifanya kazi nilikuwa na watu slippers na unajua kiosha definitely utanini utajimwagilia maji utajimwagia maji so miguu yangu juu ya kuzoea kukanyanga maji sana ilikuwa ina nini weta wate akuonoka nimeonokaga so miguu yangu ilikuwa inaishikuka hivi by the way hadi mikono i wish naweza wapostia picha ya mikono yangu nilikuwa nakaa kama mtu msiki 
huku ni kama madundo dundo jua kuzoea kukaa kwa maji sana so that is why mikono ilikuwa inaka hivyo mikono ilikuwa inaka exactly the same miguu mguu wangu ungefanya hivi kidogo ilikuwa inatoa hiyo ngozi can you imagine sijui kama ni jua kuzoea maji ama ilikuwa shida ni nini and then me sometimes unajua nikienda kwa ocean huko juu na uko fast flow so si wote wako chini lakini nilikuwa naenda na kuwa emotional lakini naanza kulia i remember ni record aka kasi ka video aka ka video nilika record tu hivyo nilikuwa nimelia juu aki nilikuwa nja alafu madhi hako ameenda job juu unajua shule za huko wao husoma like three days na scan anaenda shule siku mbili so zile siku madam wako alafu kosa kunipia chakula aki nilikuwa nalia so hii video ili nigonga like nasema si ningekuwa nyumbani ningekuwa saa hii nimeshiba aki nilikuwa nimelia nilikuwa nja nimeshinda kazi hauna chance ya kuiba food cause wako so i used to dress very bad yani wa madam alikuwa so insecure with her husband to a point that kama bwana hayuko kazi siwezi pita mbele yake azin kama bwana ako hapo si kama haendi kazi atashinda akivuta sigara hapo hautafanya kazi cuz bwana ako huko so every time alikuwa anaendeni kwa hema nguo bagi sijui kama alikuwa anaona kama i can do anything with the husband i don't know why she was so insecure cuz every time bwana akiwa alikuwa ananiambia ni sitoke kitchen yani ni siende na huko sitting room kwenye bwana yako nilikuwa naikewa boundaries you must keep in mind so hiyo kama bwana ako kwa nyumba kazi ilikuwa kuosha ceiling nilikuwa na ushanga ceiling imagine unapanda juu kwa ladder unaosha ceiling na sasa hiyo atasi chafu but you have to wash ni kazi yani juu haufanyi hii kazi nyingine juu sasa unaona bwana akiwa alikuwa ananiambia usioshe usioshe so nioshe tu ceiling ya kitchen cause bwana hatakuja na huko kitchen so nilikuwa na sugu anga sasa hiyo nilikuwa feel vibaya guys uti daigoro mtu alikuwa anachoka hapa plus uko kwa ladha umepanda hadi kale kangazika mwisho tu akwenda kwenda tunasikia kama utaanguka that life was not easy it was tough ni shamba kitata takwa goma na kwenye wananiuliza kama nitarudi huko. Kwa wainga diga shoka kwa kereke diga. Hizi picha nilikuwa nazitek natumia sister yangu aone ile food na kula. Alafu venye nilifika huko nilipata hao watu hawakula ngi sapa. So you can imagine uko umepoa food kama hii this amount ukule lunch ikufikisha hadi lunch ya kesho. Aki nilikuwa nasikia kulia. That is why nawaambianga watu pa chakula huko. Ukipata na chakula unaiba cause hii uko hona ke haha dia kwa meria bere da thio ugu kuria ta thungu ati matire ya sapa da thini kagama gai no menyerete kuria gimotuku mara na good juu kamera iko hapo alafu waiguru akakuja kitchen unexpected walai angeiona hey bismillah <laughs> So this is a picture of me nikiwa airport nikienda Iraq siku ya kwanza and the other one is nikielekea airport siku ya kurudi alafu mseme Iraq haikunitengeneza can you see the difference in as much as nilikuwa naiba chakula at least kuna mahali ilikuwa inaenda <laughs> at least at a daumira denari riwe ai no matter how strong you are ukifanya ukadamu utajipata ngatu unalia wala utajipata tu unalia cause the things you're going through in that house sometimes mtu haonyesha nangi online yani right now i'm giving you now as a story i never used to post anything bad about that place right now ndio nampea story ulikuwa unaenda 
I remember nikiwa mgeni nilikuwa naenda kupita hapo cuz ile room nilikuwa na kasi niliwaambia ni stop cho zilikuwa ile side nyingine so nilikuwa natumia cho za watoto so nikipita hapo everybody yako hivi sasa hiyo aki wallahi aki haunuki yani uki, unapita kwenda cho na kila mtu akoi yani utaingia kwa cho aki ulie alafu unawapata wakikusengenya na kuangalia hivi aki mimi nilikuwa feel vibaya yani nilikuwa tu najipata nikilia yani that life is not easy and for all the team strong who are out there then you doing your hustle may god be with you may god give you strength mpate kenye mliendea is for me mimi nawaambianga i can't regret anything so we regret when uko nilipata something that i never got when i was in kenya so that is my point you know in as much as nili go through hell at least i hit my target ile target nilikuwa ni message nikienda uko all the goals at least all of them nili tick unaona so for all the team strong may god give you strength may god be with you may god protect you i know it is not easy it has never been easy but with god everything is possible with god put god in your plans put god in everything i know those people sometimes they are so inhuman but when you put god in everything god is going to bless you god is going to help you overcome that in as much as you're going through a lot god will help you overcome and when time comes for you to come back to kenya may you have a safe journey may you come back home safely with good health you know we want to celebrate your return yani we want to welcome you back home safely the way you went put out the home with more okay we grow both mentally financially both mentally financially physically that is my prayer like we want to hear good news from you and i don't think i've said i don't think kuna kitu nimeacha